The Great Tulip Trade. Anna loved tulips. She loved their round shape and bright colors and slim green leaves. But in Holland in 1636, everyone loved tulips. That made tulips worth more than gold and diamonds, more than almost anything. One spring morning, Anna saw her father cutting tulips. People wanted the bulbs the most. Stop, Papa, said Anna. Sorry, birthday girl, he said. My bulbs in the ground grow bigger and better without the flower. Please let me have some tulips for my birthday, begged Anna. Very well, he said. You may choose eight, since you are now eight. Thank you, said Anna. First, she chose two red ones, then two yellow ones, a purple one, a pink and white striped one, a red one with yellow edges that looked like flames. Then her favorite tulip, the rarest tulip of all, the Semper Augustus. Anna put all the tulips in her wheelbarrow and pushed them, pushed it to their cottage. She planted them in a window box. Soon she saw a farmer bring his sheep and cows to market. What pretty tulips, he said. I'll trade you a red tulip and a yellow one, he said. The farmer thought he could sell the tulips for more than his sheep and cows. Sorry, they're not for sale, said Anna. They're my birthday present. I'll give you a lamb, said the farmer. No, thank you, said Anna. He had up another lamb. I'll give you two lambs, a cow, and a puppy. Anna felt bad. The tulips were her present, but with lambs, her family could spin the wool to make into cloth. With a cow, they could have fresh milk, butter, and cheese, and the puppy would grow bigger and protect their tulip field. Besides, Anna would still have six tulips left. All right, I'll trade, she said. A while later, a peddler and his wife stopped their wagon. What lovely flowers, said the peddler. I'll trade you some pots and pans for a pink striped one. The peddler knew that he could sell the tulip for much more than his pots and pans. No, thank you, said Anna. At the red one, said the man, and you have this warm wool rug. Anna looked at the rug, and she looked at her red tulip. Their stone floor was cold. A rug would be nice. Four tulips would be left. She would still have her favorite, the very rare Semper Augustus. All right, she said. Anna took the rug and pots and paints. At noon, an artist walked by. What a picture-perfect tulip, he said. Thank you, said Anna. Would you trade that purple tulip for a painting, he asked. He knew it would be worth more than 20 paintings. No, thank you, said Anna. They were my birthday present. Painted flowers never wilt, said the artist. He turned his board around. Anna gasped. She had never seen such a pretty picture. Anna thought about the bare cottage walls. I'll trade, she said. The artist gave Anna the painting. Happy birthday, he said. Soon a wagon heaped with furniture pulled up. I must buy that flamed tulip, called the furniture maker. It's not for sale, said Anna. I'll trade you this cabinet for it, said the man. No, said Anna. This cabinet, a dining table, and six chairs, he asked. Anna knew they could use a cabinet, and they needed a bigger table, but no. These three tulips were her last. Sorry, said Anna, no trade. The man's face turned as red as the tulip. Impossible, he cried. Give me the yellow one, too, and I'll give you all and that bed with the feather mattress a real bed 
Now that was special. Her family would sleep on a bed instead of hard boards. Yes, said Anna. Here comes Papa, shouted Anna's brother. Anna looked at her window box. Oh dear, she only had one tulip left. What would Papa say? Suddenly a coach pulled up. <gasps> Scoot woman, I must have that tulip. The mayor leaned out of the window. Girl, how much for that flower? It's not for sale, said Anna. Nonsense, he said. My lady wants that flower. Anna looked at her father. Where are your other tulips? Anna's brother spoke first. Anna traded them for a table, pots and pans, a painting, and a puppy. A bed and a rug, a cabinet and a cow, two lambs and six chairs. Papa stepped back. For seven tulips you got all that, he said. Anna nodded. But this is my favorite. I'm keeping it for my birthday. I'll trade you this gold necklace for it, the, ma the mayor shouted. Anna shook her head. And this diamond bracelet and these gold coins. Anna shook her head. The mayor looked ready to explode. The jewelry, the money, and a big house, he shouted, all for one tulip. Anna's father took her aside. Am I stupid not to want to trade? asked Anna. No, said her father, it's your choice. But today, your rare tulip is worth a big house. Tomorrow, no one may want, no one may want tulips. They may be worth nothing at all. Anna nodded. She thought she understood. Well, called the mayor, is it mine? asked his wife. Anna put the Semper Augustus in a clay pot. The mayor reached out. Anna didn't move. I will not trade. It's my very last birthday tulip. It's a gift for my father. That makes it worth more to me than anything else. The end.